Hey, what's up everyone? Best in West here, and today we're going to be doing a Tempest Cup deep dive in Obama Snow. Now, many of you guys have already looked into the meta for the Tempest Cup, but we're going to do a little deeper dive into Obama Snow. I'll do a quick recap about what the Pokemon is and why you would use it. And a lot of you have probably thought already that Razor Leaf is the definite heads and shoulders above um, powder snow but as you can see on my screen here that I'm actually testing out powder snow and the results might surprise you and they might not and I do think that powder snow has its advantages in certain situations so let's get to it so first of all Obama snow is a grass and ice type Pokemon that means that it is going to be weak against bug, flying, fire, poison, fighting, rock, and steel, with a double weakness to the fire that I mentioned because of its double typing grass and ice, both weak to fire. Um, it had, it's resistant to electric, grass, ground, and water. Now, also keep in mind that ice, even though Obama Snow is ice, will deal neutral damage to Obama Snow because grass is weak and ice it resists so it cancels each other out okay so I'm gonna pull up this other spreadsheet that um, that I was using to look into it so right here I have PV poke or PV poke and right here I have this tempest meta so this spreadsheet was created and distributed in the Pokemon go PvP discord server um, I'll leave a link to the description link in the description down below um, so if you're interested in joining that one uh, feel free to go there but pretty much um, the person that generated this spreadsheet did an amazing job um, like pretty much running a bunch of sims and showing how each pokemon in the meta and even off meta perform in this cup so let's scroll over to obama snow Actually, Obama Snow is right here. Um, I'm gonna, I am actually copied it over because uh, they did not look into Obama Snow with Powder Snow. So let me just uh, pull this up real quick. So I pretty much just copied it over and I ran my own sims for the meta. The off meta is pretty much the same thing. There might be some, uh, some differences, but I don't think you're gonna be running into too many of these. So no need to worry about that. Maybe Rhyperior. Rhyperior may may do a good amount of damage against Obama Snow, but um, other than that, I don't think there's anything in here that will need to worry you too much. Uh, Mantine, if it has Wing Attack, could deal some damage, um, but I don't think I don't see too much here that is of a concern. So we'll just move right along. So, Razor Leaf, right? So Razor Leaf does a ton of damage, um, but it does lose key matchups. So here are some of the key matchups that I think will be very important. So Skarmory, Skarmory just pretty much walls a bomb in the snow, right? So because it's flying and steel, so it resists all of a bomb in the snow's moves including Energy Ball, Outrage, and Razor Leaf. Skarmory resi double resists the Razor Leaf, so it's just not going to do any damage to it. Uh, it's going to do very minimal damage to it. Uh, next, you have a Alolan Sandslash. Um, again, it's just not a good matchup because it, the steel typing of a Alolan Sandslash. Um, Altaria will completely neutralize a bomb in the snow. Um, it's already a tanky Pokemon and with Sky Attack dealing super effective damage it's just going to uh, obliterate Abomina Snow. Charizard. So Charizard is also double resistant against uh, Razor Leaf so it will just decimate Abomina Snow. So keep that in mind. So the two or three Pokemon, the three Pokemon that will completely dominate Abomina Snow are right here you have Skarmory, Altaria, Altaria, Charizard, it will end Tropius right here as you can see so keep that in mind um, when you're fighting in the meta that 
Abominus No has those four very distinct weaknesses, and if you come across any of them, you're pretty much just done. So try to switch out. If you can't switch out, um, there's not much you can do. Tropius does have really good, whatever it beats, it usually beats very convincingly. So with, so as I mentioned, these are zero shields, there's one shield, right? So against Celio and Lapras, it will pretty much always win that matchup. Um, unless you have like switch-ins or different things like that. So as you can see, um, with small HP, if a bomb snow was switched in, um, like switched into, it could lose these matchups. So that's with zero shields. But with shields, a bomb snow will for sure win these matchups. Um, now the mud rose, Whiskash and Quagsire. So Whiskash and Whiskash and Quagsire are double weak to Razor Leaf. So they just get completely owned um, by the Razor Leaf. So Tropius and uh, Abomas No will completely decimate them. Now Tropius, the other Razor Leafer. So uh, because Tropius is double resistant to grass type moves, uh, Razor Leaf will not do anything to it. But the thing is, Tropius also has Aerial Ace, which deals super effective damage to Abomin Snow. So with that being said, it just completely decimates Abomin Snow again. So that's the one location where I feel like Abomin Snow has a distinct weakness to compared to Tropius. So it just doesn't work out. Um, it has a positive matchup against Lantern, which I think is something that isn't very prevalent in this meta. So um, that's probably why you would want to use uh, this. And this are the two reasons why you would want to use Abomina Snow is because Abomina Snow will resist all of Lantern's moves um, because of the grass typing. Now it will lose against Magneton because Magneton will, this one is Thundershock, Magnet Bomb, and Discharge. Magnet Bomb is a steel type move which deals super effective damage against uh, Bomb Snow and Thundershock charges energy very fast. Um, you have Minun right here, Minun, uh, Bomb Snow will defeat it easily. Bailey is one of the Pokemon that was kind of surprising to me because Abomin Snow is hitting Glalie with neutral damage, but Glalie is also hitting Abomin Snow with neutral damage. Usually in that situation, Razor Leaf will come up ahead, but in this case, Glalie comes up ahead. Um, Ice Shard will charge energy relatively fast, and Avalanche is such a high damage per energy move, and it's a low energy cost move that it, it's able to knock out Abomin Snow before Abomin Snow can knock out Glalie with its Razor Leafs. Um, another one that I that I was not aware of until recently, someone um, meant, pointed this out to me, was Steelix. Steelix is so tanky that it can take Razor Leafs and deal uh, super effective damage back to Abomin Snow with the Heavy Slam. So Heavy Slam is a, a steel type move. Dragon Tail will deal neutral damage to Abomin Snow. So um, Heavy Slam just does tons of damage because of the steel and also Steelix gets the stab bonus or the same type advantage um, damage. So Steelix will win that matchup against uh, Abomin Snow. So that's Blizzard. I'm sorry, that's Razor Leaf. And now let's take a look at uh, Powder Snow. So the reason why you would use Powder Snow is if you wanted a little bit more uh, flexibility in how you play Abomin Snow. So I'm actually considering using Powder Snow. I haven't really decided yet, but it does turn certain matchups positive and it turns certain matchups negative. So let's take a look. So the matchups that turn negative against Obama Snow when you have Powder Snow are these ones right here. So Lapras and Celio, 
you will lose or tie instead of winning them. As you can see right here, Abomas No will always win against Celio and Lapras in a fair matchup. Against Celio, uh, with one shield each, the the Powder Snow will defeat defeat Obama Snow. Now everything else, it's going to be a tie, so it's almost a toss up. So if you're willing to take that that trade off, that might be worth it for you. Now Lapras, before Lapras would always lose to Obama Snow. Now that's not the case. Against a Water Gun, Surf, and Blizzard Lapras, you will always lose. Um, not by much, but you will lose. Um, against a Water Gun, Surf, Ice Beam, you will win if neither one of you guys shield. And you'll win with 9 HP. Um, and you'll lose with one shield each, and the Lapras will be left with 19 HP. So these hurt pretty much. These hurt a lot, but I feel like you can work around it. Um, I feel like there's other options as to how to defeat these Pokemon, such as Lantern. Uh, Lantern is is going to be a part of my team, so by taking these out, like I feel like I can I can deal with these weaknesses. Now this one, as you can see, like you don't win the certain matchups as much as you would right here so quagsire with no shields you'll win pretty handily but with one shield each um whiskash will be able to deal a little bit more damage to you and you'll be only be left with 23 hp still quagsire now instead of like a dominating win you're, you're gonna be left with 15 hp or just a tie so again it's a toss-up you don't know who sometimes it's a a charge move or a fast attack and you both go down now this is another let's get to the good stuff this is where I feel like um, I feel like having powder snow on Obama snow is advantageous to um, to Obama snow so you saw how badly Obama snow loses to Tropius right here right um, Tropius will have 113 and 92 HP left. Now, compared to 113, with no shields, it will tie with Tropius. That's huge in my opinion. Now, if you each have one shield, instead of losing to Tropius with 92 HP, you actually win with 44 HP. So, if you're in an area that has a bunch of Tropiuses, um, using a bomb of snow with powder snow might be worth it just because you're completely turning this around especially since everyone's assuming that um, your bomb of snow is gonna have razor leaf a powder snow can throw them off and win you at least one match um, now if everyone's running a bomb of snow with uh, with razor leaf outrage and blizzard if you run uh, powder snow and blizzard and outrage you will tie with no shields but you will win with one shield so keep that in mind um, I think that's very useful um, and I think like it could turn the tides because most teams will have one of these two Pokemon and to be able to beat both of them is is huge and beat both of them consistently with one shield at least now another uh, matchup that turns positive in when you go to Powder Snow is Altaria. So as you can see right here, Altaria completely dominates, um, completely dominates Obama the Snow. But with with Powder Snow, um, you deal a little bit more damage. So this one's not much of a difference, but you deal a little bit more damage to uh, Altaria before Obama the Snow faints. But right here is where I think is it's huge. So this is actually um, energy ball. Sorry, energy ball. So because it can hit um, because it can hit Altaria with a charge move, Outrage deals super effective damage against Altaria because of the dragon typing. So this is just like a great. 
it's just a great item to to have if you get switched on like let's say you're fighting a pokemon and then they switch in alteria by having this outrage by being able to hit the energy to use an outrage alteria can get knocked out pretty fast if it doesn't block um so that's pretty much it um there's these ones that don't change too much like steelix will still dominate Abomin snow um now golem can beat Abomin snow with shields now golem and graveler so keep that in mind um also it's going to be a tie against alolan graveler glalie still wins Minun, you still win. Uh, Magneton, you still lose. So a lot of these matchups, you still win. Maybe not by the same amount that you would have originally, but um, most of these matchups are still pretty positive in your favor, uh, other than the ones that I went over. So, what to take away from this? Now, you need to know how your local meta is playing. If everyone has a Tropius, um, it might be worth it to switch to powder snow because you're expecting everyone to use um atropius that this this will turn things around now if everyone's uh, using a bomb snow it still might be worth it because you will win that matchup against a mirror now if everyone is using a lapras um, or a celio which is probably going to happen uh you have to have another workaround because there's not too many options right here i feel like this lantern i mean sorry this tropius counter is probably one of the biggest ones because the counters to tropius are ice and fire um that i can think of and flying okay so there's a decent amount of counters to tropius but Oftentimes, you're left in a matchup that is unfavorable to you. And a bomb snow against Tropius is one of those. And being able to just like turn it around and win that matchup instead can be advantageous. So, yeah. So, that's my findings. I think that a bomb snow has two great options. You can either use a bomb snow with Razor Leaf or a bomb snow with powder snow powder snow will get those charge moves off faster razor leaf will subvert those shields and just go straight to the hp um i don't think it's as clear cut as some people might say it is um that's my personal opinion and i think the best way to for you to find out which one is best for you is to just go ahead and tm your bomb snow and figure out which one works best for you and what you feel most comfortable with i see benefits to both but yeah that's a bomb snow for you um if you were to ask me for my recommendation uh for the general generally i would say stick with razor leaf and outrage um and get energy ball or no get blizzard if you have enough money have enough stardust to get that second move um but if you're feeling adventurous and you want to be kind of outside of the crowd or like be go against the the crowd then try powder snow it might surprise you but yeah that's abominus snow deep dive uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below um, i'm more than happy to answer them uh, make sure you like this video and if you want me to do another one of these with another pokemon uh, leave it in the comment section below as well um Obama snow is definitely going to be one of the pokemon that you're going to encounter in this coming tempest cup and i think that you should definitely prepare for it know its matchups know what's good against it know what's it's bad against and thanks again for sticking through this and until next time guys this is best and west i'll catch you guys later